Welcome to Income Trading 101. Today is February 7th, Sunday, February 7th. And I figured I'd continue with this cryptocurrency analysis over the weekend. So um, for those of you in the crypto space uh, who are, uh, I guess, go beyond uh, just Bitcoin and Ethereum, you probably know Aave. So Aave is one of the uh, lending platforms that allows people to, uh, you know, earn a steady or I shouldn't say steady. It varies quite a bit, but earn a return on cryptocurrency they're holding uh, in their wallet. They can uh, stake it on Aave and it'll or deposit it into Aave and receive additional uh, return uh, interest, yield, whatever. Um, well, for on assets that they're not actively trading. So um, I've used Aave some and uh, those who who use it and take part in their or took part in their ICO have enjoyed a nice little run here. Uh, this is a one day. So the, the coin actually uh, became available on Coinbase to trade uh, back in December. So that's why we have such a small amount of you know, of, of data. I mean, this really isn't that much data. So um, while I'm going to start off here in the daily uh, with the one day, uh, we'll probably do the analysis as well on shorter time frames, um, especially if you if you're trading uh, Aave, if you're trading Aave, you I mean, you're probably not looking at the one day anyway. Those of you who uh, believe in the uh, DeFi or decentralized finance uh, sort of story, you might be buying this to hold, uh, but man, this is one hell of a run. I mean, look at this. The beginning, so as of January 1st, 2021, Abe closed roughly at $91.12. Today, on uh, February 7th, Abe, uh well, let's go with the 6th. On the 6th, they're showing Abe is having closed at $473.00. And that's off the high, right? The high last week. Uh, I'm sorry. The high, let's just say on Friday, uh, the high was $549. The low, of course, was $465. That is a lot of movement in one day. Um, but that's just the way DeFi goes. And if you're in this space, it doesn't surprise you at all. Uh, we've got the volume down here as well volume like i've said in other videos i'm i'm not really there are complete trading styles on volume uh that would still fall within technical analysis it's just not something that i really uh use but i am going to stick to my guns and go ahead and use the moving averages to start off now moving averages are going to be irrelevant uh for this uh one day time frame but i'm just going to do this because it's it's not only have it, it's I want to be consistent in my analysis. And that way, if I ever am looking back at a trade and I say, why did I like, what was I thinking? Why did I do that? I'll know exactly why I can say, well, you know, when I look at the moving averages on this day and on on that day, it, it gave me this re result. And that's why I did it. So there's a lot to be said for consistency. Consistency will also allow like seeing the same data uh, over and over again uh, with the or the same types of data over and over again will actually give you it'll strengthen your trading style because you'll start to see what works, what doesn't work, um, what's best for you. Uh, and so, you know, we're going to tweak this. Actually, I don't know if you just saw me change this moving average to 60 and it disappeared because we don't have 60 days of data left or data yet. So uh, crypto does trade on a 24 seven time frame, So maybe we'll just do a, how about a 35, maybe even a 40, let's try a 40, uh, 40 period. Uh, that'll give us a little bit. Um, but again, this is on the one day. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this back to 60. I like 60 day time horizons just for what it gives us. And we're going to shorten this time frame because we already know that you know, this stock is, or this stock, this token, and I'm using the Coinbase version. So this token uh, versus the US dollar just hasn't been uh, in the market that much. And so we're just going to see straight up 
you know, trending analysis that the MACD isn't going to show us a whole lot. The Fibonacci is pointless because there hasn't been a retracement yet. So let's lower our time horizon down to one hour. Now we get to see something a little different, right? Um, that makes it a lot more fun. So when we look at it on the one hour, now we have a little bit more to analyze. So look how tightly our 60 period and our twin and our and our look how tightly all of these moving averages have gone. Uh, of course, in uh, that would be uh, January 22nd around 8 a.m. We saw a clear rise of the uh, of the 10 day, which is our green line or the 10 period and the 20 period push up above the 60 period and could have caught a nice little rally there until until stock here. I'll zoom this out. Let's take it over this way. Boom. You could have had a nice little trade if you got in somewhere around here, even at this high here and then exited uh, a few days later, January 25th, or we'll just say January the 24th is when we saw a bar finally fall below our 10 day average or 10 period average. So that could have been a nice little trade in there. Um, this trading style, I, I, I love technical analysis because it truly is applicable to so many different markets, so many different markets. So it's one of those things. It's like a base level uh, trading tool that I think people trading any asset class uh, should be aware of, um, even if you only look at it from the standpoint of uh, market psychology. So I also like this back in back on. February 3rd, uh, this would have been at midnight, of course, but uh, one, two, three, let's let's pull it over to uh, 7 a.m. or so. Ave was starting to take a run, and we saw in this that the 10 day, I'm sorry, the 10 period, the 20 period were both in line and, and above, above the 60 period. You also could have had a nice little run here. And as I've mentioned on some other videos, recently I've changed my style basically to say that the moment I see a bar go through uh, my my average, my moving average, I'm more prone to exit. <clears throat> to me, that's a good sign of exiting the trade. Sure, you could have held and you could wait for the crossover over here, but sometimes those crossovers really take a while. Uh, trading uh, when or exiting when a bar goes through your signal line also means that you might not, you might get shaken out of some trades, but I'm actually okay with that. I've been trading long enough to know that uh, locking in a profit is better than um, is better than always trying to uh, squeeze every trade uh, for the last penny because sometimes that last penny ends up being a last oh five or ten thousand if you trade Bitcoin. But whatever, I'm not going to talk my book here. Um, what's interesting is in the short term you've got Ave Ave ha having pulled off. Um, of its recent highs and right now um, you're seeing all three all three moving averages are in line so you've got the 60 period the 20 and the 10 um, I'm not sure if this was a solid uh, short signal here at uh, at at well what would that have been 11 o'clock um, be great if I could uh, that would have been nine o'clock last night 9 p.m. Um, or if this up here would have been the short signal, this crossover uh, that happened back at uh, 7 p.m. on Friday night. But we definitely see a short happening uh, right now. The market appears to be going a little lower. I'm still a little more hesitant to make big crypto trades on the weekend because you're essentially just trading. It's mostly just Asian uh, volume. Uh, most of the big dollars here in the U.S., the institutional dollars, or these guys are still coming in, uh, working a, a 9.30 to 4 p.m. or 9.30, yeah, 9.30 to 4 p.m. They're basically trading when the U.S. equity and, and bond markets are available because if you manage funds, if you manage money, you're, you normally are looking to offset that risk in other asset classes. So they're less likely to trade over the weekend when you just have uh, crypto and foreign currency. All right, let's Go ahead and uh, get out of this uh, this time horizon. Of course, we could take it lower. We could look at the 30 minute. We can look at the 15 minute. 
Um, the 15 minute really looks a lot more bearish uh, than the than even the one hour. But I'm going to swing this back out to the one hour. Get rid of the moving averages. We will take a quick look at the at the MACD. Um, of course, one of my favorites just because it's like moving average plus gives me a little bit more information so I can kind of get a sense of momentum uh, and not just price movement. So you did see a momentum shift uh, back here on February the 4th uh, with this crossover above the zero line, meaning that this was overbought and this crossover of the red and the blue line uh, wouldn't. Of course, I can change these settings to match the red and green nature of my moving averages as well. I just haven't. But um, if you guys want me to do that and you want to see that in the comments, just let me know. And as usual, I'm using TradingView. I like TradingView set up. It's just easy for me to access a number of technical patterns uh, that are already built into the software. Um, when I first started trading, I mean, we would literally print out graphs, grab a ruler and start doing this stuff by hand. Or you'd, for this, you'd be building a Excel, uh, a, little, a little model on Excel. I still like building models on Excel um, just so that you can have the actual data um, and see how the, how the averages have changed from day to day because the visual charting software, when you're using moving averages, they adjust on a daily or tick by tick minute. And what looked like a crossover at one point, you'll come back you know, hours or days later and wonder why you made a trade. And it's because their software already accounted for the change in averages. So if you have the actual data on your on your uh, within your system, it makes it a lot easier for you to track your trades and and decide what's uh, which tools are best for you. So here uh, you have a this would have been a short indication this this crossover, uh, but we're already starting to see some crossover crossovers below the zero line. So I'm not convinced these clearly were like short term uh, buy signals. But if you had taken this, you most likely would have lost money because the stock, I'm sorry, the token has uh, clearly continued to go lower. Let's drop the time frame down to say a 30 minute and see how Abe is doing with the MACD. So um, I'm not sure that I, I would use this one. I certainly would not trade the MACD on its own, uh, but I do think it's great for confirming uh, confirming big <clears throat> big signals. So that's it. I'm not getting. I mean, I, I get the sense that Ave is going lower. So the fact that it's already below the zero line um, means that I'm just kind of I'm not I'm not expecting to buy it um, if I were looking for a short term uh, long, uh, a short term long trade. Um, I do think that this is one of the this is sh this is proven to be a good token in the DeFi space for people that want access to DeFi without actually um, looking at yield farming and all of that. This token, I think, is going to be one of the hot ones. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and, and look at this. We're going to pull it back to the one hour. I want to compare it to one of its uh, some of the other DeFi tokens that I know are trading on Coinbase. So uh, Uni, Uniswap's uh, token is actually on Coinbase. So if you'll notice here, they have all of these different, you know, Uni versus the uh, versus Tether. So USDT versus Bitcoin versus USD, but this is on Kraken. Uh, since we're using, since we're looking at Aave on Coinbase, I'm going to look for Uni, Uniswap on Coinbase as well, just so that I know uh, two things, that the exchange is handling the data similarly and that that trading view is handling the data uh, similarly. I don't want to get in a, get in a, uh, get in a situation where um, where there's any sort of financial glitches that I don't know within my software. I started off as an option trader, and we always just assume that our model is flawed. It's never 100%. So you have to know your model and know the possible weaknesses just so that your, your model doesn't end up costing you money. And so I still sort of approach all financial software that way. So on the one hour basis, looking at Uni and the Uniswap token has done amazing things as well. Uniswap, for those of you not familiar with the Decentral or for 
if you're not familiar with DeFi, Uniswap is just a beast as far as uh, the ability to stake uh, stake uh, your tokens and allow the automated market maker to trade. You get a percentage of the fees. You also get some, so that, that creates yield. The other thing that creates yield uh, with Uniswap is this Uni token. And so Uniswap has actually just had an amazing run. And it's interesting to look at it relative to Aave. I'm just gonna keep pulling this back a little bit. We'll just look at, at 2021. And you can see how well these tokens have tracked. Um, I know in the equity markets, we look at pairs trading quite a bit um, because you're you're wanting to see, like, is there a divergence or convergence between these? Meaning, if you're expecting Aave, like here, if you were expecting Uniswap on a percentage basis to outperform Aave, then you would have bought Uniswap back here on January 30th uh, or already owned it. And this this divergence, even from a percentage basis, uh, could have created a nice little trade. And you obviously would have looked to exit quickly when Aave started outperforming, which it's been doing over the last uh, last couple of weeks. Aave token has just gone in fuego. So, um, but now you can look and see they're moving more in line as well. So, uh, this is an interesting space for. People that aren't familiar with DeFi, um, uh, don't get in because I want to get as much money as I can first. But <laughs> I'm teasing. Interesting space. Uh, this is the uh, more active side of crypto. And um, so if you're a crypto trader and you're like, oh, yeah, Bitcoin, eh, you're not. You, to me, if you haven't gotten your feet wet a little bit even in DeFi, then you're, you know, it's hard to call yourself a, a full out crypto trader these days but anyway that's it for my analysis of Aave even though this is going lower in the short term it's hard for me to believe that it's going to stop its run we'll do, we'll do one one more little thing here I always like to look at channels um, because at some point I'm going to expect this thing to break out of a channel and I just want to see what what that might look like so there, so maybe I guess what this would mean is I might start looking to buy this thing, you know, if it pops above 460, 465, somewhere along those lines, um, you can see it's still bouncing towards the bottom of this channel. So maybe it's going to touch down around 408. Um, the problem for me, I've never been really a good range bound trader. so. I'd be more likely to either look to sell the top of this channel, 458, 460, or know that when it breaks out, that we might be preparing for or, or starting another nice little uh, upward upward run. But, you know, we'd also have to confirm this on shorter time frames. So that's what I like to do. You look, You can look at it on shorter time frames. You can also look at it on uh, using you know get validation for a trade signal by using multiple indicators either way figure out what trading style works best for you and stay true to it so that you can use it and you can learn from it and see how the tool is going to work for you don't work for the tool make the tool work for you and so uh, looking at this channel right now we're still kind of seeing yep that 410 or so 400 range uh, might either be a midterm buy or uh, you could look to sell this. You could sell this channel. You know, it's basically 410 to 460 uh, is sort of the expectation. But just know if it goes above 460, we might be making another another bullish run, which would not surprise me in this token. So it's taking a breather. I'm treating it like it's taking a breather. But at some point, it, I'm probably going to look to get long again. So. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this vid these videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, share it with friends. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, you can get more information at IncomeTrading101.com. Thanks so much. Take care.